other areas as well. So today I want to talk about how we built several machine learning models, artificial intelligence models for Wikidata. That's a quite tricky area. Yeah. <laughs> okay, need to. Basically, um, if you don't know about this Wikidata, I go through this uh, very fast, but uh, Wikidata is a free um, knowledge base uh, by the Wikimedia movement. Uh, it's, it's more like a Wikipedia, but with a structured data, a database that has a knowledge in it instead of having IDs or um, the data, uh, it's, uh, it's actually powered by Wikibase and the data is licensed CC0, which means uh, public, uh, public domain. Um, there is an issue in Wikidata called quality control. Uh, call, uh, quality of Wikidata is important for several reasons. First reason is that uh, this data in Wikidata is actually being used in Wikipedia. So uh, if a vandalism or a very high, very low quality content would be there, and this uh, content would be used in several languages of Wikipedia and uh, starts uh, to propagates through other resources. Uh, but vandalism, so basically vandalism is a huge thing for Wikidata and needs to be uh, taken care of, but backlog is too big. So basically I want to talk about this. Um, I want to start with a, a signpost article uh, that has been published very long time ago. I am about a year, I think, um, or less than a year. and. It talks about quality in Wikidata and says uh, there is a vandalism in Wikidata and uh, vandalism is stuck. Uh, it showed several cases of uh, vandalism in Wikidata. But uh, how can people um, control this? There is a reason that vandalism is stuck in Wikidata because a number of edits that's being made every day is 80,000 and 80,000 just human edits, not considering bots edits. So uh, reviewing all of the edits would take, the, if uh, th thinking of five seconds for reviewing an edit, it would take uh, 133 hours, which mm, translates five people uh, reviewing edits 24-7. Uh, uh, but actually a very tiny fracture of these edits are actually vandalism, and uh, 3200, uh, 320 edits would be reverted, but only 80 of them are vandalism. And that's a very small fracture. And the reason for this is actually because uh, there are lots of tools that people use to edit in Wikidata, which means it uh, makes the backlog much, much bigger. Um, in answer to um, what's uh, as a quality mentioned in the uh, signpost, Lydia, actually, uh, product manager of Wikidata, actually came back and uh, made these comments. Uh, for Wikidata to truly give more people more access to more knowledge, data in Wikidata needs to be of high quality. And probably the most important part of is uh, machine learning tools like ORES that helps us find bad edits and other issues. Uh, I want to talk about machine learning classifiers. Uh, machine learning classifiers are actually based uh, a part of uh, AI um, which works in a um, like a black box. In, in um, ordinary, ordinary algorithms, you give uh, several certain rules to the system and you give an input and you will get an output. But in uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, um, most notably, you need to give some data and you don't, need, you don't know what's the algorithm, what's the rules that uh, um, are work on this. So basically, you give a data and you say, uh, these are, are some features, and this, this, is, this was the result, like it was a uh, bad edit or not. And then it can learn the rules itself, and uh, after that it can answer for another input and says to you, okay, uh, this edit probably we will be vandalism. Um, but the problem, and this tool is made for Wikipedia for several languages, there are like 10 or 20 uh, machine learning classifiers in Wikipedia, English Wikipedia, but there is no infrastructure for that. There is uh, nothing to 
um, make it easy for others to build another uh, machine learning classifier. There is no infrastructure to build it for Wikidata. So basically, what ORIS is is not a ORIS is not actually a tool to find vandalism. It's actually the infrastructure to use AI in Wikipedia. Uh, for example, the first thing that we started working on an AI is using uh, finding vandalism, and that's it. Like uh, in this case, we get several. Actually, it's it's much more than that. It's for the uh, features. It gets. Uh, for the features, if the edit is made by an IP, if a uh, number of characters added, number of characters removed. So basically, it learns uh, after a while that if uh, edit is actually blanking the page, it's, it's probably vandalism. And longest token, like um, the biggest uh, repetitive characters that uh, have found in the edit, uh, in the edit, for example, uh, some people tend to like uh, write tons of. Uh, a character like uh, exclamation mark all over the place. This, uh, this should be tend to be more likely to be vandalism, and it starts to learn. And as a Wikipedian, I need to say that uh, and that illustration is completely wrong. It doesn't tell you this is it's good or bad. It actually gives you a number. It doesn't tell you uh, um, no. I think this is a good or I think this is a bad. That's how AI works. Uh, so, what's, how the, what's the use of this? What actually does is actually gets 80k uh, human edits per day and just classifies them where, depending on where you put your threshold and gives you a very tiny um, um, fraction of edits to review instead of getting all of these edits to review. Depend on, uh, for example, in English Wikipedia, there's a Clubot NG, but a Clubot NG actually puts the threshold a very much higher level. So basically, edits that needs to be reviewed would be so small, but number of false positive would be uh, much less. So in order to prevent any mm, mistakenly revert any good edits, but what we are doing is actually we are just generating some uh, scores, but the reason behind this is actually to put the threshold somewhere that gets even false, most, uh, even more false positive than um, real um, results. But the thing is that it gets all of the edits that needs to be reviewed, not most of them. Because, for example, Clubot NG actually reverts only 50% of vandalism, and the other half of the vandalism needs to be reviewed and reverted uh, using another method. And I want to show you how ORIS works. In, uh, this is an example. Uh, ORIS actually is an API. It, it doesn't have a s graphical interface for it. Uh, and you go to this URL, which means this, is, uh, this needs to be checked for Wikidata. It's about if the edit is, about, is damaging or not. And this is a region ID. The actual edit in this case is uh, all entering uh, someone adding a sexual orientation through looks, which is an a vitamin, uh, to item of all entering, which definitely is a vandalism. So it gives me um, a, a probability like 90%, I'm sure this is a vandalism. And 90% means that needs to be reviewed by human. Uh, but in the other hand, there is another edit that's probably good. Uh, it's uh, adding a reference to an item, and it gives its five percent uh, likely to be vandalism. So we just put them into backlog and don't look at it again. There's a, uh, there's a problem uh, in using ORS in Wikidata. ORS is actually first meant to be working in Wikipedia, but not in Wikidata. So there are features for Wikidata that uh, we had to add. For example. Um, if the human, it's, a, it's item about a human, it's a item is about a human who is alive, or a number of statements that were added, or number of statements that were removed. But on the other hand, we couldn't use uh, Wikitext-based uh, features, for example, a uh, list of bad words that we generate for every language in Wikidata, Wikipedia, and that's, we can't use that in Wikidata because that doesn't make sense, because Wikidata doesn't have a language in it. And the percentage of vandalism in Wikidata, as I told you, is different. In Wikipedia, it's 
around 7%, depending on language. Uh, sometimes much less, sometimes much more. Uh, but in Wikidata, in order to get proper data to learn our classifier, we had to go through dumps and review 25 million edits instead of uh, just randomly sample 20,000 edits that we, we do in Wikipedia. Explaining uh, very simple, basic things about uh, articles in Wikipedia. For example, there is an article in Hindu Wikipedia that I can't read, uh, but there are uh, small people in, uh, active in Wikidata that can read these articles and see if that's about a human or not. But, and we want something about, uh, to know about this item. It, um, so basically we say, okay, this is an, a human uh, born in this country. So, but we can do it for all languages. We are already doing it for English, Dutch, German, but not small languages. What I did was actually uh, try to get some data uh, from that language and try to learn this stuff into Kian and uh, put it into Wikidata. But some cases we couldn't do it because uh, Kian wasn't very sure. So basically we fit this into a game, a distributed game. If you are, uh, how many of you are um, familiar with uh, the Magnus game, Wikidata game? Oh, that's quite a lot. And so what is it? It's actually distribute, uh, the distributed game, which is one of the games that fits through API. So but I built an API for Kian and it, tell, it goes and tell you, uh, asks you actually, the, in the cases is, it's not sure that is, a, is it in sense of human settlement or not? And uh, it gives you a probability if you want to know. And you can just say yes it is and, uh, or no it's not or you just skip it. But extracting features for Kian is a little bit complicated because categories are not simple to use. Uh, categories uh, have their false positive. Uh, you can find out in the category of uh, 2016 death uh, that actually they are not about humans. So uh, what we did uh, was a little bit complicated. Uh, it, um, Kian actually, what actually Kian does, it tries, goes for a, like if it's a human or not. Okay. If it's a human or not, uh, it tries to go all of the categories and in a certain language. And, tries to fi find out how many of these articles in that category are already marked as a human. So basically, if there are a category like 2016, uh, this is probably is a category about humans. So basically, it has a 90%, more than 90% uh, members of this category are already human. So what it does, it actually um, labels them. They call it high density, uh, medium density, and low density. And when it wants to check out if the, edit, uh, it, if the article is about a human, it actually just goes to categories and tries to get the, some data. And after that, it can tell if it's a human or not. In that case, it's a human settlement, which is about cities. And uh, if you have any questions, I will have it, uh, would be happy to answer. Okay. Hi, I'm Marco. Uh, I'm uh, the leader of Strap Hit, and I'm actually building something, let's say, similar, some kind of fact extraction with natural language processes for Wikidata. And I, I was wondering, like, Kian uh, looks to me like uh, some kind of ontology learning f stuff. I, am I right? Or maybe you can like, explain a bit that. So, um, one of the things is that I was actually was looking at using NLP tools, uh, but NLP tools are not more sophisticated in a small languages that we need data for. Uh, so basically, I went through categories instead of going through ontology, uh, and um, I can say um, uh, for things that need subclasses. I actually went through the subclasses system, so I'm using ontology, but the ontology that is already in the Wikidata. Okay. 
So, uh, as far as I understood, uh, when you see um, here this, this uh, edit is red and you may review it, is there a, an OK and not OK button next to it? And you could, you could store all the information the, the, the reviewers have and improve the algorithm later based on that, right? Um, let me uh, first, uh, in first iteration in uh, ORIS in all languages, we actually try to get the data for reverted model, which revert, reverted model is actually tries to understand if edit is reverted or not it go, by going through API or by going through dumps in case of big data. So it does have a problem, but for damaging the model, which need, we need to be much more um, accurate, uh, we actually went through uh, launched a Wikilabels labels campaign, which uh, you can find it in Wikidata, uh, Wikidata colon um, edit labels and in there people go there and try to label 5,000 edits that we randomly sampled and they say okay this edit is damaging or not and if this is a, is a honest uh, it's an honest mistake or not and in that case it comes back in with much more accurate data so basically what we are doing and uh, for the next iterations, we don't ask for more features. We actually ask for more data from people. We launch another with labels campaign and we ask people to go through them and go review it. If you, uh, as a final note, if you want to uh, have your, uh, have ORS in your language working, uh, have better features enabled, just come and talk to me and I would be more than happy to help you. <laughs>